I got started in the games industry because I've been a massive gamer since I was about six years old and my dad got me uh, a copy of Mazogs on, on the Sinclair ZX81. Um, I trained as a journalist, I became a games journalist. Um, I've been in the industry as a, um, in, in one form or another since 98. Um, I spent uh, several years as a games journalist and then moved into uh, a story editor role um, on a, a, a one project and then sort of picked up uh, little bits and pieces here and there, um, level dialogue, mission design, and then moving into full scripts like Heavenly Sword, the Overlord series, Mirror's Edge, and finally up to Tomb Raider. Um, certainly with Tomb Raider, I was very influenced by something like Terminator, actually, um, because it, it shows someone who's, who's quite kind of normal and not particularly extraordinary, although certainly Lara has some extraordinary aspects to her. And she doesn't know what she's capable of until the circumstances test her. And, you know, she, she goes, to, you know, from, from a waitress to, to someone sort of, um, you know, I won't, I won't repeat the line because it may not be <laughs> appropriate for um, uh, the BAFTA website, but, you know, to, to when she is um, uh, uh, squashing the Terminator at the end. And, and you know, she, she go, you, you see her becoming stronger, becoming more resilient, fighting back. And so uh, Sarah Connor was, a, was an influence for me there. And I've always been influenced by um, the, the, the strong ladies of 80s movies like Ripley, like, like Sarah Connor. I mean, I grew up watching those movies and you know, I thought that you know, fighting aliens in the future or, or, or fighting killer, killer Terminators, that's what women did. I thought, you know, I thought I could grow up and do that. Um, so I think kind of working in games is probably the nearest thing. Um, as far as games go, I think, um, one of my favourites has been Psychonauts, um, that had such a wonderful blend of, of humour and poignance in it, and it balanced it really, really well. And you know, that's uh, you know, a beautiful game to sort of replay. And it uses level design as storytelling in a, in a really unique and powerful way. I think the games industry is both, uh, it, it's still small enough that um, you can kind of get in there and network, go to conferences and talks, um, meet developers, talk to them, see what their, their requirements are, um, go to shows, look at, look at the games that are out there. You know, there, might be, there are AAA games out there, but there, there are games at all levels. There are, there are small f fan projects going on, um, there are middle scale stuff, there is downloadable games, there's sort of people doing you know, uh, amazing kind of stuff in Game Maker and Unity. Um, it's actually just getting out there and immersing yourself in the industry, reading books, reading articles, looking at what people are doing and why. And just hon both honing your skills as a writer, which is, is, is really important, but, but also looking at the way games are put together and designed and what kind of narrative requirements they have. And, and just getting out there and talking to people and seeing what's going on.